The name Wajamup is actually the Noongar name for Rottnest Island and this island is actually called the Island of the Spirits. So it has quite a significance to Aboriginal people and to the local Wajak Noongar people. The quokka is our treasure, of course, for many reasons, because there are a few places in the world where you can actually see and experience and exchange with an endangered species. DNAZU is a global initiative where we're trying to genomically empower all the threatened and vulnerable species. Right here on Rottnest Island, we have these really special, smallest little kangaroo family marsupials, the quokkas, and there are no genomic resources to date available for them. The University of Western Australia, in partnership with Microsoft, are developing these little scatter retrieval drones which will be autonomous and non-invasive for sampling DNA. This DNA from the scats will give us unique signatures to be able to monitor the wildlife. We collect massive amounts of data. Given that we have 58 collaborating partners spread across eight different countries, and this is growing really, really fast. So working together, being able to share the data fast and across different partners, we will be able to achieve conservation goals faster for the local communities and at a global level at the same time. I'm extremely proud to be able to participate in the AI for Earth program because it gives us connections, it gives us learnings from other fields which we could easily deploy in our program and make the vision go further. I'm very excited about work that AI for Earth grant recipients all around the world are doing in order to make a difference using machine learning. The work that DNAZU and the University of Western Australia are doing is so exciting because this is exactly the kind of workload that was made for the cloud. The power of machine learning and Microsoft's AI can be used to solve some of the world's hardest biodiversity challenges. The vision for DNAZU is to build a data legacy for generations to come. In the future, my children may not be able to see thylacine, but at least they will have data to learn the lessons to preserve the species for the future. <laughs>